California dreaming about you. Hey guys, Simcolor here, and welcome back to another episode on the WhatsApp clone app. And today we are going to advance on our chatting system, and we are actually going to start implementing it. Uh, apart from creating an unique ID, because that's already done from the past lesson. So today we are going to start working on the chat activity, uh, which is where the users will communicate with each other. Uh, but we are only going to take care of the adapter, of the recycler view, getting everything ready so that we can just get, uh, give, it, uh, give it as much data as needed. So yeah, uh, let's get on with it and go into our Android project. And we are going to start right ahead creating a new activity. We are going to create an empty activity and call it, you guessed it, chat activity. Okay, so for now, the chat activity is only going to have a recycler view. I'm only going to take care of that part of the issue. I'm going to change this into a relative layout because that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to implement here a recycler view, as I've said. So let's go ahead and say recycler view. Okay. Width is going to be match parents, height, wrap content, as always. And I'm going to actually remove this and close it out in here. Okay. This way it looks much cleaner. I'm going to give it an ID, and the ID will be recycler view, as this is the only recycler view that we'll have in here. So Okay, it, it is a good enough name, and that's it. We don't need anything else. We can move on to the chat activity, and in the chat activity, we'll create the recycler view, we'll, do, we'll get the message, messages, we'll do everything that we need. So for now, I'm going to create a function called uh, initialize recycler view. And mm, I'm actually going to straight copy from the mm, main page activity because I believe, yeah, we already have it here. So I'm going to, to copy because it is basically the same. The, the idea of a recycler view is the implementation is always the same. So I'm going to do it this way. Be careful when doing this so you don't miss out a thing. But yeah, that's how we are going to go about things. Okay, I'm going to go back to the main page activity because we need a couple of variables, these ones at the top and the array list, which we are going to change. Uh, we are going to change the names mainly. So to change the names, I'm, I want to change. Uh, what do I want to change? Hmm. I don't want chat list, I just want chat. Okay, so I'm going to search for chat lists. I'm going to uh, click on everything and simply change this for chat and there are a couple of things that we have to change but uh, the the great deal of things is already done I'm going to remove this okay so I'm going to remove the capital letter of the array list so and I'm going to say instead of chat I'm going to call it message list message list equals to new array list. The find view ID in here it is recycler view because it is this recycler view and the ID is a recycler view. Okay, and no, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change it into message. Okay. I don't like to give the names of the, the object itself. I believe it looks kind of bad. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. And chat chat layout okay and that's it now we have an error here and one of them is because we need message list but it will still still give out an error and the other is because we don't have an adapter ready for this okay so um, i'm going to create that adapter right now create java class and i'm going to call it message adapter okay and I'm going to come in here and say message adapter. And as you can see, an error popped up because we still haven't created a constructor for this um, adapter. So that we aren't calling it anywhere in here. And we have to do that. 
and I'm simply going to come in the chat list adapter and straight out copy because well it is much easier and do the same thing as we did in here for the initialized recycler view okay so in here I'm going to change the chat list adapter for a match message adapter so find control find chat list adapter highlight everything and say message adapter okay now the great majority of the errors cleared up I mean every error cleared up I'm going to uh, do the same thing for the chat list uh, chat list yeah and change it for message okay but now we, ha we have this message which isn't meant to be like this so I'm going to do it uh, one at a time because otherwise it won't be possible and so I just say mess message lists and copy that into every single occurrence of the um, the array list so nothing to worry about and yeah that's that I'm going to clear up the on bind view holder because we'll change that a lot and I'm going to remove the title from the um, message view holder okay apart from that we are done uh, now we uh, all that's left is to actually create an, a layout for the message part of it and another thing that's left also is to create um, an object for the message so for now let's simply create a new item and I'm going to close this I'm going to come in here in the resource file and I just remember that I haven't oh I'm truly sorry but I forgot to, to zoom in so I, I'll, I'll try to zoom in in uh, post edit don't worry and now let's create a layout file and call it item message let's do a linear layout click OK and move on to the text make it bigger again and now uh, all that we are going to have in here is two text uh, views for now and the reason is uh, because we want a text view to show the message and a te another text view to show the ID for now just so that we confirm who sent the message and in the future we'll change it for, for a name uh, and we'll do the same thing when it comes to displaying the chats in the main page activity so don't worry so now let's say text view RAM with it can be match parents it doesn't really matter and height wrap contents the ID will be message okay and uh, that's it now let's just straight out duplicate it and say uh, sender and in the preview yeah nothing happens because there isn't any uh, text but as you can see we have to edit text because there are two lines in here okay so that's done we can move on to the message adapter and change item chat for item message and now we go in on to the view holders and create two um, text views so text view and message and and sender and it doesn't need to be public in here so I'm going to remove the publics okay now I'm going to create two uh, find view IDs where I simply place the end message and the end sender message sender okay so that's it uh, as for the layout for now we are done obviously we are going to, to improve upon this this is just so that we can have the backbone of the um, chat uh, part of it okay so now what we have to do is to change this chat object for a message object which we are going to create so let's come in here in the chat part java class message object okay and we are going to create something that looks exactly like this so yeah 
let's go ahead and say uh, first uh, message ID string message ID we are going to need a text that will have simply the text of the message and we'll need the sender ID okay that's for now it is all that we are going to to need um, because yeah we don't need anything else and I'm actually going to move the sender ID to the middle because it makes more sense to have the IDs put together okay text replace a comma there okay now create a public message object this is the con constructor of the object string message ID string sender ID and finally obviously string text I'm going to change again I'm sorry but I'm going to change this for message I believe it looks a bit better okay now we are going to um, apply these strings to our global strings of this object so this message ID equals to message ID and create two copies of that and do the same thing for the sender ID and finally message okay so now we uh, for now the only thing that we'll need is um, a get our getters so in objects we have getters and setters and getters are just um, functions that retrieve to us the mess in this case the message ID the sender ID the message the variables that are in the object and setters are functions that with which we can change a value of the object so because we are going to simply fetch and create an object with all of the data already inside it we don't need to create setters but you'll understand this more in the upcoming videos so i'm going to create the getters get message and get sender id okay remove the spaces and that's it now let's go into the message adapter and say message object and we are going to change every chat object for message objects okay and now if you go into the chat activity an error will appear and that's because in here we still have chat objects so let's just simply change that really simple and that's it okay so now let's go into the message adapter and apply uh, these message lists to our view holder and the way we do this as we did before is simply say holder dot and message dot set text message list dot get position dot get message really easy and now we do the same but for the sender and for now we'll simply apply the sender ID so, so as I've said before that we know exactly who sent out the message and that's it uh, for this mesh uh, for this lesson it will be all uh, we have the recycler view ready to go whenever we want it to so yeah now it's just about uh, creating um, an input text uh, so that the user can send out messages and then uh, getting the messages so that we display them in the list in the recycler view and apart from that then we'll move on and add a couple more features like sending messages uh, sending image messages sending sound bytes eventually but yeah and editing the bio of the user and the chat itself so we still have a long way to go but things are coming together nicely so yeah Thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.